to invite Tazro to unmute and introduce the panelists. Okay, um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, so hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Tatsuro from uh, from the Database Center for Life Science, which is the National Institute in Japan. And we're going to have uh, a panel and title. The panel was Japanese Cerebral Community, which is, which sounds nice. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce uh, the panelists. Uh, the the first uh, the first one uh, Tomoya Tomoya is is from the National Institute of Genetics and he is working for uh, the many projects including the state of all uh, random implementation and another uh, the third uh, per panelist is Tsuyoshi Hachi is from the from the company uh, Genome Analysis Japan. And he he is he is a former uh, biomedicist in in the in the in the university in Japan, and I think I think we are going to introduce our uh, activity and and uh, how we are doing with with the Japanese community, and we have I, th I think we have a lot of time like forty minutes or something. And so we welcome any questions or any comments or any just chatting, asking about the Japanese field, everything we can answer. So, um, and Michael, do, uh, do you have any kind of the, you know, um, questions or any, any, any plan to, to do this panel, panel session? Or, I can come or, up with some we... questions, don't, don't worry. Oh, okay. But uh, okay. I also want to give room for the audience to ask any. But I guess uh, an easy question would be, you know, I haven't seen you for two years, so what's new? Oh, yeah. What's, what's been going on? <laughs> well, um, I just recovered from the COVID-19 last week. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was so tough, and uh, you know, my kids, uh, you know, uh, uh, always uh, hard to take care of it. But yeah, we are we are doing fine, uh, and uh, um, it's 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 really shame that we can't have uh, the physical meetings so often. But we uh, keep doing the the monthly meetup online. So uh, we are working very well with uh, with the with the, with the existing collaborators uh, across Japan, but uh, uh, in these these two years, uh, it's it's actually a little bit difficult to gain more uh, uh, new participants to the community and also uh, getting to know the new people each other. So that's that's the. That's the concern for us, but uh, but I think I think this this is happening everywhere in the, in this world. So um, maybe 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 we just hope to uh, you know um, to be back in in a, in a kind of normal life after this pandemic. I hope. Um, yeah, I think I, th I think uh, and Tomoe and it's usual uh, prepared. Uh, Kind of the short slide for introduction of their work, so I, th I think we can start from here. Great. Um, maybe Tomoya, can you can you introduce your work first? Okay. So thank can you. you yes. Perfect. Okay. So I share, you share the screen. I Please uh, how, how can we share the screen? Uh, is this button to go screen share? I hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see a bot button to, to do that, but uh, um, we cannot. You can't do that? Let me let me do it. So, because I can see the 
window to select the screen, but uh, not can oh, I'm, to see. Oh, I, I could oh, see the. I think mm -hmm. it's hot cheese one. No. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try. Um. Oh yeah. Um, my client is showing the share your screen option, but the uh, the screen is not appearing to you. It's just weird. Almost pain for me. Um, Hachi, can you, can you share your screen? I think I think I, I just saw your screen shared. Yeah, I try. Yeah. Oh yeah, here you go. Okay, so uh, maybe what? you can <laughs> start first. So, oh no. We are now watching your entire screen. Oh, oh fine. Uh, well, fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so oh. let me explain. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for your help. So uh, I'm Tomoya Tanjo from uh, Bioinformatics and DDBJ Center, uh, National Institute of Genetics in Japan. And uh, I'm a... Uh, uh, my main research topic is about cloud computing and the, uh, so I'm a, a computer scientist rather than bio. Oops, I, I, I think I don't, I don't hear you, Tom, yeah? Yeah, I lost audio. Oh. About? Are it? Oh, yeah, okay, here you go. So, uh, can you hear me? Okay? Yes, yes. Great. Okay, thank you. So, uh, are Coming on the night. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. So, uh, I'm a computer scientist rather than the bioinformatics. So, and uh, my main interest is uh, uh, workflow engines and uh, language specification rather than the analysis itself. And uh, I, I'm also interested in the ecosystem to develop and to test the uh, workflows. And the second and the third page, uh, some I show some uh, softwares we developed. Uh, I developed uh, some workflow engines that almost all compliance level workflow engines, and also the uh, visualizer of the uh, workflow execution results of CW metrics. That is uh, uh, many developed. CW generator, uh, uh, here is an uh, example input and output. So uh, we can easily uh, generate the uh, command line to definition from the uh, given uh, command, line, uh, command line argument. And uh, please go to the last slide. And uh, I also developed some uh, several tools and uh, really, uh, tools to help uh, to develop CW uh, workloads. And uh, also, can you uh, show the last slide? Ah, thank you. 
So first, uh, for example, the uh, first one is a visual studio called template to develop uh, CW workflows, and uh, that that is in uh, that integrates with the uh, CW tools and the CW test and the Rabbit Twenty and others. And also, uh, recently, I developed uh, custom GitHub actions for CW to run the uh, to test CW workflows with uh, CW test frameworks and also the uh, uh, to run uh, conformance test and also the uploading conformance patches to uh, the given repository. And uh, the second the third core engines. And also I developed the uh, library to generate uh, CW and schema salad passes in the programming run language. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, maybe, maybe we can uh, we can have some questions if you have from from the from the participants, or we can move to the introduction by Tsuyoshi. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I I, oh, I, I, find, I find a comment yeah, from yeah. Michael. Oh yeah, yeah, so, go ahead. So I like to show my screen right now. Wow. Oh. Okay, can, can you see? Yes, my right? Perfectly. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, yeah. and uh, it's my first time to join the CW conference, and I, I'm not engineering person. I, I am a researcher and analyst of genome data, especially for human genome sequence. And so uh, this slide shows um, whole genome sequencing data analysis workflow called. Uh, GATK best practice, and this workflow seems to be simple, but um, in, in detail, this workflow is com very complicated in some aspects. And, but um, many researchers use this uh, GATK best practice, and uh, some workflows were implemented implemented in with WDL, and uh, very large projects uses this WDL workflows. And um, in the JTK homepage web page, uh, they showed the reference implementations implemented implemented in WDL. However, uh, these reference implementations are very helpful, but they are not fully functional. For example, uh, variant calling on sex chromosomes is not possible using them. Um, but uh, there, there are many implementations in Widu. Uh, uh, I we, we like to use CWL, so we implemented um, uh, CWL workflow for variant calling of uh, human whole genome sequence data. And uh, Manab is a uh, uh, main person to develop this workflow. Um, and we implemented variant calling workflow in CWL and applied it to whole genome sequence data from more than 1,000 Samples. Uh, I think this is relatively large project, and uh, we can demonstrate that th this scale we, we can run, we can perform variant calling of this scale uh, using CW. So, to in, in, in the this project, we face several problems, and um, I like to share our discussion 
on how can we how to efficiently rerun workflows. Uh, in our case, there are six data from more than 100 samples. Our workflow uses scatter function of uh, CWL, and therefore some executors such as Tor can distribute jobs for multiple samples to multiple computational nodes. Please assume that we first throw jobs for 100, just 100 samples. And two weeks later, jobs were successfully finished for 98 samples, but jobs for two samples were failed due to some reasons. For example, slash temp disk space was exec hosted. This is a real reason uh, face, we, we face these errors. In, in such case, uh, we like to rerun jobs for only two samples rather than to rerun jobs for all samples to avoid unnecessary computation. To do so, uh, we implemented the following functionalities. Uh, restart the output files that should be generated from the input sample IDs and identify sample IDs with insufficient output files as a target of rerun workflow and generate a job file for that contains only target sample IDs and finally, run jobs for target sample IDs using TOIL and SRAM. This functionality largely improves the operation of our workflow, and th this is very helpful for uh, large scale analysis. And the functionalities are specific to our variant calling workflow and are not generally useful for other CW workflows. So, um, my message is that general fun functionalities that enable to efficiently rerun workflow may be helpful for many researchers. I guess that. So, <laughs> if uh, you know good way to do this rerun or uh, any good idea to uh, realize these functionalities, uh, I'd like to discuss on this point and the, the implementation, the detail of the, this implementation is um, no, Manav knows the details of this implementation. So, Manav, can, um, do you have any comments on this point? Ah, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Tsuchi. And uh, so I want, so uh, firstly, we are, we do not know much about uh, how Toil exec, uh, how Toil creates the execution schedules. So we are, we choose a conservative way to uh, execution. So each, uh, the, uh, so, if the 100 samples, we start the toil 100 sam uh, each sample executed by each uh, toil. Not uh, one toil uh, spread the 100 samples. We are choosing the one toil execute one sample. And this style is a very conservative way and a lot of uh, pro uh, generate a lot of processes, but uh, works well and is uh, uh, easy to uh, uh, find finding the some errors uh, and uh, so troubleshoot is very easy. And currently we are very, mm, to, uh, satisfied this uh, this style, but uh, uh, I think the toil has a more. Uh, 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 we need to investigate it, the toil future more deeply, and uh, and uh, we also very very expected the EP3 implementation is uh, uh, the other job executed. So uh, yeah. Uh, that's all. 
the why we choose the, uh, this kind of the uh, uh, strategy. Thanks. Uh, that's all from our mm -hmm. team. Can you hear me? Yes, okay, thank you. Um, I, I switched my client to the web browser, so I hope I can uh, share my browser uh, window. But um, I, th I think before we move into to my introduction, uh, maybe we can discuss about this function, we run the workloads. Um, I think. Maybe maybe Arvanos has has a function to rerun the jobs. No, uh, Michael, do you know that? Oh, uh, I, don't, I, don't <laughs> I have to mute it in a different place for the recording. Sorry about that. <laughs> so let's start okay. with Toil. I would um, Toil does have the ability to restart a workflow and only redo the parts that have failed. Mm -hmm. But that only yep. works if the workflow definition is unchanged and you didn't move any of its its working directory. Mm -hmm. So there is a restart flag for toil. If you've changed any parts, you can't use that, which is a frustration. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like actually the, the feature would work in this scenario. Mm -hmm. um, Arvados uh, does have a resume functionality. Um, and that works even if you change the workflow. So if the particular job produces the same command line as something you already ran, it will reuse mm. those and skip that rerunning that step and just go to mm. the part that hasn't successfully run. Mm. So that's quite nice. Maybe you made some other changes, you know, um, uh, and other workflow uh, platforms, like commercial ones, Seven Bridges support this um, mm. in terms of open source. That would be the other example. Mm. Yeah. But the reference runner so, can also do this, but it doesn't submit jobs to multiple places, so it's not useful for that. Mm -hmm. One more thing is, uh, uh, I want to ask, the, so a lot of samples, and uh, we want to output the, each sample has uh, or each directory, and as a sample's name, and uh, so, and uh, we try, firstly, we try to, implemented with CWL uh, using the initial workflow there requirements. But uh, it's a little bit complicated. So one more reason to we are we do not uh, choose a uh, uh, <laughs> straightforward scatter strategy. Uh, so I want to know the, uh, the good way to uh, Managing the output directory per each uh, per samples per, per sample. It, sample one has a uh, output directory sample one. Sample two is uh, under the sample two. Sample three is uh, under the sample three. And uh, uh, we want to do that uh, uh, with the CW. Uh, I, I was wondering if maybe Milos has some experiences to share. Hmm. If he's still around. Maybe he's handling something, uh, some other issue at the moment. Hmm. Uh, are you talking, is the scatter in the middle of the workflow or surrounding a whole sub workflow? Uh, um, whole uh, sub workflows. And, uh, so firstly, we created the only workflow by uh, handling one sample. And uh, after that, we wrap it to the uh, just a scattered. And so I think the whole uh, scattered whole workload. Mm. Um, so you can add, so we could look at how Toil does um, stages out, um, array outputs, arrays of files, mm. arrays of directories. Mm. Um, uh, the other thing, you could add an expression tool, and I will get an example. Oh where you, you can restructure the outputs. Mm. So mm. you don't have to run any command line tool. It just mm. restructures them into directories. Mm. Um, so that's a popular trick at the, at the end. Um, but I will, I will have to look for that link. It'll take me a bit to find that. Maybe other people have advice on this topic.
Uh, I also put a link in chat about Looper, which can call Toil CWL Runner mm. uh, separately for because if again you the scatter is at the very outside, so not in the yeah. middle, but if it's at the very outside, Looper mm. is nice because it just submits them as separate workflows entirely. So basically, you let it handle the scatter, and so if one because the the each run has nothing to do with each other it may be actually be better to submit them as a separate workflow. Mm. Um, and so Looper helps helps you do that. And it can you can put in, it can connect to the Toil CWL runner. So you can still execute it across your cluster. Mm. Um, uh, but it'll, it'll, you know, you don't submit the, the workflow with the top level scatter, you submit the sub workflow, but you give it like a sample sheet. Here are all the samples. And then it will start toil of CWL runner separately for each sample. Mm -hmm. So you might want to, you could combine that with the restarting feature or just sample fails. You just delete everything and redo just that one sample. Mm -hmm. So that might provide a better experience. Um, oh yeah, thanks. Mm, yeah, I mean, Arvados would also work, but it's more to set, it's a bit more to set up because it's a data and a workflow platform, but it provides these other abilities. Yep. So, okay, thank you. Thank you, Hachi and Manabu, and uh, for sharing your experience. And maybe, maybe we can have much more, uh, you know, questions and the topics we can discuss. But maybe, maybe we, we need to um, change the topic because uh, this is the you know, kind of the power session for the, for the community. So, Okay, <laughs> so um, it's okay. So let me let me try to share my screen. Um, yeah, I oh, just a second. Hello, Google Chrome to share. Oh, there. I need I need to quit my reopen my browser. So just just a second, and I will be back. A few. Hello. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, um, it, 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 it. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, you're, can you, can you see my, um, browser in the slide? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so, okay, yeah. uh, thh thank you. So, um, so it's, it's, it's a brief introduction slides for myself and uh, well and me. Um, I'm Tatsuro uh, from uh, from the database center for life science, which is which is which is the National Institute in Japan, and um. I'm, I'm responsible for developing the database and also the computing platform for the, the, the whole biomedical sciences. And I have been working with CWL, I think, I think it was back in uh, 2015. Um, um, and my purpose to use the CWL is first to to analyze the data, uh, mainly the sequence data from the high super, high super data sequencing instruments, um, and in a in a collaboration with with the with the biologists and for the for the applications such as the RNA seq and the epigenomics and also for the metagenomics, and so that's that's the the very um. You know, typical usage for the CWL, but also uh, I'm I'm building some platforms to help help the bio biologists who 
put on call because because then everyone asked me to do the data analysis with a lighting code. So um, I'm managing the work, uh, the standard workloads um, and to, and then publish it on the GitHub with the documentation how to use and uh, but 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 I force people to use the Docker and the CW too. So I, I I don't know if they think um, it's it's. It's a, it's a kind of way, an easy way to do them, but <clears throat> but I think it's okay. And and uh, the another uh, purpose to use the city of all is uh, that we are responsible to provide uh, the infra infrastructure for the for the data scientists. So we build a we build a computing environment, uh, the shared computing environment for for the for the Japanese researchers and. The way build uh, some applications to use utilize the, the shared workloads such as this uh, common work language also and also the other work languages. Um, so so far we've been uh, working on with the city well and we could um, develop some uh, applications um, regarding to the the city well. <laughs> The first one is the suitable metrics, which is which which is a, a utility tool for the suitable tool, which uh, which collects a runtime metrics uh, for the given suitable workloads, which helps users to find an appropriate computing uh, size. Uh, for example, when when the researcher want to use. Um, AWS instance, but don't know how much uh, computing resources they need to run the workflow. Um, one can use the suitable metrics to uh, correct the runtime metrics first, then uh, can uh, decide which instance to use, uh, run the rest of the, the samples with that workflow. And another product is uh, is is Sapporo, which is which is an implementation of the Chihuahua which is the workflow workflow execution service, is 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 like a workflow as a service, which uh, the user requests the execution of the workflow to the server, and the server accepts the request to run the workflow on that uh, the computing environment, then return the data and somewhere, <clears throat> and. And uh, so I, I can introduce a, a brief um, design of the Sapporo, which is, so it's, it's actually using the, the suitable auto and other local engines inside, but we provide the API layer uh, to accept the request of the, the local, uh, local RAM. And we also implemented the, the, the browser-based the GUI, uh, which, which, which is named the Sapporo web. Uh, and users will upload input data and it will send to the API server and then the worker runners will, uh, <laughs> sorry, worker runners will uh, run the workload, the specified workload to uh, get the output and the users will uh, download the data to their local environment. And this is, this is this is all uh, already published on on the GitHub, and you can try it uh, with, with your uh, your uh, environment. But we are uh, we are um, preparing the uh, pre-registered workloads, um, which users can uh, use with this infrastructure. So we will announce uh, the public uh, release of of the of the public instance of the Sapporo soon. I hope. And this is the, the how the GUI look like, and uh, it's it's pretty like you know, um, it's actually something like the Galaxy, which has which has a very uh, nice GUI, and the users will select the tool or the workload to run and upload the data and run the workload. But the, the difference is, is that the, the users can choose uh, any kind of the workload resources uh, other than the Galaxy or Citable or Nextable or whatever. And uh, we are uh, aiming to uh, provide a platform 
where users truly can um, utilize the resources out there. And personally, I prefer the, the city of all, but there are some people loves the other local languages, like, you know, the, let's say people love next floor and they don't want to write the city of all. That's okay. But we provide a platform that everyone can run the city of all and also next floor or whatever, and the new local languages and any other kind of, the, you know, resources uh, because, because we, because we want, we just want to do the science, but we, but we don't want to, you know, um, arguing about the different vocal languages. So, um, yeah, but you know, but I, you know, prefer the city of oil. So that I, I want people to write the city of oil, but you know, it's 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 not it's not main topic. So yeah, so I I, I hope I hope uh, a lot more people will. Will be interested in this uh, kind of the the activity and to share the the vocal languages and also the the providing the platform to run the vocal. And that's 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 my personal um I, I mean uh kind of the project. But you know today today is is a, is the session for the community. So uh, I briefly introduced the community Japanese community, and um I I. Well, so I, th I, th I think I think the city of already has a really great community in it, which is really active online, and then everyone <laughs> is gathering at, at the Discord, and the people discuss about city of and exchanging the knowledge, which is great. <coughs> Sorry, but you know, um, Japanese people are uh, very love to speak Japanese, so um, so we have we have a kind of local community to uh, exchange the knowledge, and also we can. <coughs> Um, we can gather. We can gather to uh, discuss about the things in in a you know, face to face before the pandemic, um, and so for we have uh, we have uh, two different but but the overlapping groups. So the most people uh, attend uh, the both community, but the the first one, uh, Pythagoras meetup is is for for the biologists. So uh, this uh, this uh, community uh, is from is known uh, as a, as a galaxy community in Japan before, but uh, we we but we wanted to uh, um, talk about not not only galaxy but a uh, lot more about the workloads and the biophotics um, topics. So. Um, so that's that's the first one, but uh, some people uh, who who joined the the Pythagoras meetup was too geek to, you know, um, so they, they they wanted to talk much more detail about the infrastructure. So uh, we created another uh, community uh, meetup, which is called the Workflow Meetup Japan. <coughs> so uh, so is. Is 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 for more detailed topic of the infrastructure and also cloud and and then much more uh, the technical part of the biomedics and we have uh, we have a Slack channel uh, which has which has uh, more than hundred people but uh, but the the core members and uh, uh, less than that in uh, around ten people or. Or less than 20 people are attending the monthly meetup <coughs> and, after, and uh, after the beginning of the pandemic we're using the, the online office application and and from the from the community we got we got so many outfits um we have we have published the, the many suitable workloads from from our experience, and also we implemented some uh, kind of uh, community standard workloads, and also we have written uh, the chapters for uh, the Japanese biomedic specs to introduce the city of oil to the to the water community in Japan, and also uh, we are writing the documentation on GitHub and also 
uh, published a blog post to uh, introduce the, the CWL uh, skills and the knowledge and the tips. And also uh, another good thing is that we are doing the, the CWL Advent Calendar, which is which is a blog really uh, uh, we are having every December to uh to share the kind of uh little um tips and analysis about the city wall and that's i, th I think that's the that's a brief introduction of you know, me and in a, in a japanese community and um if you have any question about the you know having having a having a local community of this this kind of the community or uh you know any 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 other kind of question we may need to the community and also the to to our projects please feel free to ask me um yeah so oh okay i got the question from margo chat how much time you spend on organizing the japanese community okay um it's 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 not um, it's actually not much time. I mean, uh, so we usually you know we actually all living in Slack <laughs> and 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 in a community Slack, and we just you know type the the announcement of the the next meeting or something. And before the public week, we we had to organize the physical um, venue to to gather people, uh, but but it just took you know, a few hours in, in, in a month, so it, it was not a big deal, and it, it was fully volunteer and uh, mainly me and uh, the other folks who helping to organize the the community activity. Um, so now we are just you know, log into the, the virtual office application and to, you know, gather in a chat. And also we publish the, the monthly updates to the GitHub pages, which is just, just a routine, very light work. So it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a big deal, but, you know, um, but I think we need to, we need we, we want to uh, have more more people from from uh, from the different uh, Japanese institutes to the community by uh, by joining the the other conferences like 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 a local conference for the biologists to to get more people and also we want to you know uh, attend the you know the international conference so that so that we can you know exchange knowledge. Uh, with with the with, with the people from the different countries, also the different communities, because because you know uh, in this in this pandemic, the Japan is almost the border is closed <laughs> and uh, we we can't travel so much, and so over over two years we are we are just you know um, um, kind kind of locked down in <laughs> in the silence. So well, I hope I hope the you know things. Well, go good soon. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for the question, Nana. But uh, well, um, yeah. So um, maybe maybe from the other participants of this session, maybe uh, we can we can have questions about. I don't know. Maybe you can ask a very light question, <laughs> or I don't know. Um, so Michael, um, do you do you know uh, any other community like this Japanese community? I mean, I mean the local city world community. So I, I think I think Australia had had a, had a kind of a local conference about the uh, city world. Yeah, I don't know anybody doing regular meetings like monthly. So um, that's what I I guess my question would be, how did you find these 100 people to begin with? Was this an outgrowth of other efforts? Was it a pre-existing community? So it was like a subset. Did you grow this separately? 
Well, um, so we regularly uh, attend the, the conference, like uh, like a Japanese biomedics conference or Japanese molecular biology conference or something, and we have a session, uh, like like a like a work with language session or uh, like biomedics tutorial session or something, and then we uh, we announce the the meetup and then also we are we are. Um, <clears throat> we present the, the community activities there. So most people uh, know the, the, uh, our, our activity on, in that kind of the you know the opportunity. But uh, but but the the active people like 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 the core members are a kind of the you know uh, the friends of friends of the core members because they, you know. Uh, it's it's much more easy to you know join to to the to the the, the physical yep. media. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I th I think there's um, there's a lot of opportunity for more of this around the world. So it's one of the reasons I asked to have this panel. So we could study your success, and I would say I think part of the success is really putting the time into making the community. So mm -hmm. okay, it's maybe not so big of a deal, but it it sounds like a real amount of time and that you had the resources and you felt supported by your institutions and your bosses to do this. Um, and I think that's part of the, the recipe. If somebody mm -hmm. needs to feel supported and rewarded for doing that work, whether it's mm -hmm. officially part of their job or they just get enough nice feedback. Right. Right. Yeah. So I, th I, th I think that, you know, kind of the, you know, um, the unique situation in Japan, which is, mm. uh, let's say, the time zone and the language and also the, you know, the trouble, um, it, it costs to travel across Europe and uh, the US uh, from, from Japan. So which is, which makes it kind of difficult to, uh, you know, uh, get an opportunity to know uh, the people um who are doing the similar things so i i think you know having the, the kind of kind of this kind of the local community as a hub to uh connect with the different countries and also the different time zones so let's say so i could i could travel to to the let's say uh, ISMB or boss conference and then, then i can uh get some information back to the local community so that everyone can know that so um it's so let's say probably uh the countries or the continent uh who has a similar uh situation may be able to uh get some um the profit uh, by having this kind of local community yep makes sense yeah and uh, <laughs> so in japan so some little bit uh complicated situation like a uh, uh, handling the genome data as a very uh, confident and uh, so we are we created a very closed uh, computational environment mm -hmm. and, uh, so and uh, of uh, in the japanese institution very poor to use uh, cloud computing resources and so we are very hap and happy to come to this kind of the conference and uh, feedback to the information to the uh, institutional company or the other people and mm -hmm. colleagues. And uh, sometimes it, uh, this, this information helps and encourage the uh, other people and uh, they are uh, trying to little bit uh, uh, progress. And some people use, start using the cloud computing and uh, the back end is uh, uh, CWL and the toll or Albert also something. But, but uh, a lot of information, no, no, not so many information from the Japan now mm. about uh, using a cloud computation. But uh, we are, uh, we created a lot of the workflows mm -hmm. and the uh, user interface like a Saplo, and uh, it uh, also helps the uh, researchers. Mm -hmm. So about the, uh, getting the information and the spread the uh, knowledge. Uh, it's good things for uh, our community, and so people want to know about the uh, whole world, how progress uh, the work uh, bioinform 
Navy Bioinformatics Field the Workflow Execution System. Yeah. Great. Any other questions or comments from somebody else on the call? Yeah, not a question, more of a comment. I think this is the largest known English speaker community out that I know for CWL. Um, in Latin America, we have a few groups that use CWL, mainly in university and research institutes. But they use their own supercomputer. They don't publish the workflows. They publish in a local platform in Brazil, Lattice, and in other countries they have a similar setup, but they don't publish in a European workflow hub or in GitHub, and they don't organize meetups, they don't have a Slack channel, and I think it's props to the organizers, to these core members that are organizing that. It's really hard, and you guys did an amazing job. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, and, uh, um, I, th I, th I think you know the situation is, is kind of kind of similar in in a, in a part of the Jap Japanese scientific community because you know uh, most people don't want to share their uh, internal researches like like workflows or tools or they don't think about you know publishing the tools. But you know my my institute is is uh, responsible for you know um, promoting the the data sharing and the workflow sharing. So. Um, but, but we, we have, you know, we, we don't have a, you know, kind of, a, you know, privilege to, you know, force them to do that. So we just, you know, uh, attending every conference hall in Japan and they're saying that you need to share your workers and then you need to, so you are using the, the government money, so you need to publish everything. And it's that kind of a thing over 10 years. So now we are here. So it takes time, but it will, you know, happen if you do that every country, I think. Uh, but thank you, very, thank you very much for comment. I have a question about schema salad D, but maybe maybe that could be answered in chat. We are technically 15 minutes behind schedule, yes. but this is going so well. So I, I don't let's keep talking for a little bit we, we can adjust the schedule so uh, yeah manabu or uh, uh schema salad d is yours or is that Tom uh, yeah, not me uh Tom -tom. Tom -tom, sorry sometimes uh, yes how uh how is your progress on schema salad d yeah um it is mostly done but uh, the um um my final goal of the schema salad d is uh, to uh, uh sorry uh first i i should introduce uh, the programming languages and uh, it is a uh, statically typed and uh programming language and uh, it it compiles uh, binary from the source code and uh, the main um the killer feature well the killer feature of the programming language is it's um it's expressive meta programming, and therefore, uh, first I thought uh, I can generate from the uh, schema of CWL at compile time rather than runtime, as the schema starts to currently uh, use it, and then. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, maybe I can share the. Uh... Uh, I put the link to the advent calendar in last year, and uh, uh, I, uh, I wrote the three articles for them, but uh, sorry, it is written in Japanese. And uh, the main idea is the. Uh, uh, First, I wrote uh, uh, handwritten uh, CWL parser as a proof of concept, and uh, and the second, uh, I uh, I try to work it. Uh, I try to generate that parser at compile time, and. Uh,
uh, I found that uh, I cannot do that until I fix the uh, standard library of the programming languages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly works. Uh, the uh, the main the main broker is the uh, the a standard library of the uh, regular compression, regular expression in D, and uh, it works, and uh, it works at runtime, but uh, it doesn't work at compile time. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, and uh, in, I uh, I use uh, uh, I also use uh, the YAML parser in D and. Uh, and the uh, YAML parser is the uh, uh, YAML parser internally uses the uh, standard expression library internally. So it is because the uh, YAML parser doesn't work at compile time. So uh, yeah, in the long in the long term, I I will fix it, but uh, maybe I need hard to, to do that. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most work that and uh, uh, mm, yeah. But um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I need the uh, most work is the, the uh, currently schema salad uh, uh, consists of two parts. The one is uh, in some sense the uh, uh, declarative part. It's just the Korea uh, uh, cross uh, and the uh, second part is uh, in some sense the uh, uh, logic part and it is the uh, uh, it consists of the, some uh, template libraries that automatically generates the uh, uh, content of the parser from the declaration. And therefore, um, currently, uh, schema salad can uh, test if component of the parser rather than the uh, whole parser. So yeah, therefore, the, I hope it, um, it is, uh, we can um, uh, achieve the uh, better maintainability of generated parser, I hope. Super, also yes. complicated uh, and impressive. I've been following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, I've been following a little bit on GitHub, so thanks for the update. Yeah. Do we have questions from the people in the Japanese community for the rest of us? Or should we take our break? Oh, no, someone's typing. I'll, I'll wait a moment. Maybe they're sharing their links. <laughs> Time travel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Responding to the, uh, the, the December yeah, post um, blog posts are not done yet. Uh, I'm sharing yeah. my slide. Oh, uh, I, don't, I don't have a permission to post to this one. Um, can, you, can you allow me to chat? Post the chat, Michael. Uh, you can join the room. Everybody uh, does not. Uh, I, think I, I think I already joined. No. People had this before. You joined the conference, but maybe not the room. There's like a separate mm -hmm. green join link. Oh, really? Or I can try uh, to, yeah. or somebody can invite you. That's the. Well, uh, let's see if I can invite you. Whatever can whatever can you can you post uh, my 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 link to the link to my slides? I've invited you to oh. the room. Oh yeah, got it. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks everybody for the links. Should we take our ten minute break now? If we don't have anything else? <laughs> yeah. But we can keep chatting in, in chat um, uh, if we want, but maybe we come back in 10 minutes um yeah 
thank you thank you very much for coming to to the session yep and so, thank you very much for your comments um it was fun and uh yeah it's it's, it's really great to hear, see you again <laughs> yeah i miss you so much thanks for reading the stats row yeah, yeah, yeah and uh I, I, need, I need to leave here soon and i, I need to move to move back to my my flight so uh see you maybe on flight day. i'll be sleeping but bruno will see you Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. So see you there soon again. 10 minute Thanks. break. We'll be back for the replay Thank talks. Ciao. And, and additional discussions. Uh, join what you can. All the talks are recorded. See you in 10 minutes.